makes things a lot easier. So we already have our sharpened blades here. And we do this every single day just so we can keep the grass as perfectly maintained as possible. And it makes a better cut on our end. Helps it so we don't have to double cut or slow down for high stuff. These super sharp blades just go right through. Absolutely no problem. The whole process takes a little less than five minutes. We've got our sockets and impact set up. You can put a big gun on the top. So when you don't drop the blade, the nut down the back of the mower, all you do is pop it off, pop that new one right back on, and there we go. I do have to go searching for this little guy. There it is. We stick. This is a Skag Turf Tiger 2, so we have the lag bolts essentially that go through the signals and connect on the top. Our John Deere model only has it on the bottom. One down. Step number two. We're going to go all the way to this side. And this is just a Makita half inch impact. Not a Gorilla Gun Milwaukee. Love Milwaukee stuff, but. And just to show you, this is. The blades were taken off. I mean, these are not in bad shape in any way, shape, or form. But they go on, or they sharpen a lot faster. That's the new one. Super sharp edge. We use the RVG 934. So it has the welded angle on it. And we essentially slide, it has a small learning curve, but once you understand how it works, it is super easy to sharpen each blade in no time with super consistent results. And I'll show you the last blade, and then you can kind of see that every blade has basically the same edge. I mean, so it's a, a fixed, fixed angle on the machine. So every single one comes out exactly the same. And everybody who has bench grinders say, oh my, you know, it's faster, it's easy to do. Sure, but I can train somebody on a sharpen blades in five minutes and it's gonna come out like this every single time. Um, can you do that? And I mean anybody. I could have a grandma doing this and it'd be no problem. We sharpen these though every day. Um, this is a good point too to check under and see if there's any junk in there. This one does have a little bit. So. Some black silk fence, it looks like. Sometimes pieces are in the yard, though. You can't see them. All right. Final step, tighten the last blade. And you can hear, I don't crush them on because Skag blade self tighten. If you guys didn't know that, if you really poke them on there, you're gonna have a problem. 